All right, what's good with y'all boys, man? Back at y'all another video. Now, before we hop into the topic, make sure you drop a sub down below, drop a like on the video, and follow me on all my socials. Link is gonna be in the description. Now, as you read by the title and thumbnail, we talking about the best way to approach women. Now, in my previous video, I had a subscriber comment. Basically, make he asked me to make a video about the difference between cold approaching and choosing signals when it comes down to just basically approaching women in general. So I'm finna break that down for y'all boys, man. And we finna get the cold approach right about the way because this is gonna be less used by y'all. The cold approach is simply this. You go up and you approach a woman without any prior signs of interest. That's all it is. You know what I'm saying? So basically it's like you and your day-to-day -day life, wherever you at, you see a girl that you find attractive, you go up and you start a conversation with her and shoot your shot. That's all cold approaching is. You get what I'm saying? The only difference between cold approaching and choosing signals, now let's get into choosing signals. The only difference is that choosing signals means that the woman that you are approaching showed previous signs of interest before you walk up to her and shot your shot. You know what I'm saying? So basically, let's take the same scenario. You see a woman that you find attractive, but this woman is also looking at you smiling at you lingering in your area you know what i'm saying subconscious signals that she's interested in you and wants you to say something to her because what you gotta understand and realize about women they will put themselves in your vicinity they'll like all your pictures on social media they'll do all of these things to show choosing signals but they not gonna be the ones to shoot their shot to slide in your dms all the time it's rare it'll be it can be done but it's very 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 rare you know what i'm saying because women are the ones that like to be charmed women are the ones that want to be seduced women want y'all to shoot your shot at them so when it comes down to cold approaching it's not really nothing wrong with it it's just that your success rate is not going to be as high as if you was only approaching women that gave you choosing signals now when it comes down to the cold approach what you got to understand and realize is that you got to have your confidence on point and you got to have your mouthpiece on point because typically bro you're not going to want to just go up and start a conversation with a chick or go up and shoot your shot at a chick that ain't gave you no type of signals because it's much easier and better on you and you ain't going to be missing as many shots if you just simply let the game come to you. Now I get what you're saying because it's like, oh, I don't want to be passive aggressive. I don't want to be like this. What if I see something I like? What if I never see her again? Exactly. It's your choice to make whether you should approach her or whether you should, you know what I'm saying, let the game come to you and rely on the choosing signals. But it's certain instances where you have to make the approach because like I just said, you don't know if you're gonna see her again. You feel me? S some of these instances where you cold approach women, you could be out of town. You could be out with the bros at a party or something like that. You don't know if you're gonna see these women again. So you have to act in that instant. Now with other times where you going to certain places that it's like in your routine, like you going to your grocery store that you always go to, you going to the gas station, or you going to these different areas that you go to frequently, or you going to the gym and you might see the same chick every every week because you go to the gym every week. You may see the same girl. She always working out in your area. She always looking at you in the gym while you getting it in. These different type of things. Now it's like, okay, now it's built up a little bit. Now she keep looking at me. She keep lingering in my area. Now I can make the approach. You get what I'm saying? So also, this just kind of came to my mind. Choosing signals approach is kind of more laxed and elongated because you can kind of build it up a little bit more. Because like I just said, she could be looking at you in different instances. Like it could be different days where you constantly catch her looking at you, or you constantly catch her lingering in your area. But when it comes down to the cold approach, it's right in that instant. I see something I like, let me go shoot my shot. I see something I like, let me go approach her. That's the only difference between choosing signals and the cold approach. You get what I'm saying? Now, for beginners, for beginners, for beginners, when it comes down to approaching women, you feel me? Like I said, let's touch bases again on the confidence that you must have. You do not want to walk up to no girl stuttering. You do not want to walk up to no girl looking down. You do not want to walk up to no girl stank. You know what I'm saying? Your breath stank, none of that. You do not want to walk up to no girl when you not on point. Look good, smell good, feel good. This should be your mindset every single day. When you look good, you're going to be more inclined to put that cologne on and smell good. When you smell good, you're going to feel good. So you have the confidence now. But your confidence cannot solely be predicated upon you having a haircut or you having some type of cologne on. The confidence comes from within. You get what I'm saying? Like you can't just be confident now that you got a fit on. You feel me? You got to be confident before you put any type of fit on, regardless of any of these other external factors. The confidence got to come from within. That's why I tell y'all, get in the freaking gym. 
That's why I tell y'all, say positive affirmations so you can empower yourself mentally, so you believe in yourself and you have the confidence from within. That's why I tell y'all, be in tune with your emotions. Don't act like no freaking little girl if you get rejected by a woman, because it doesn't freaking matter. If one rejects you, it's billions of other women on the planet, so who cares? Just move on. You get what I'm saying? So that's the first aspect. You gotta have your confidence on point. Look good, smell good, feel good. Make sure you drop that in the comments five times. First person to drop that down five times, get a shout out. Real talk. Now, the second aspect is your mouthpiece. Your mouthpiece, bro. You get what I'm saying? Now, I just made a video on how to flirt with women, so I'm not gonna go too crazy in the mouthpiece, but the mouthpiece is basically just, you walk up to her, you tell her what it is, you get out the way. It's as simple as that, bro. So what do I really mean by that, though? You feel what I'm saying? When you are approaching a woman, whether it's cold approach, choosing signals approach, it does not matter. It's the same scenario. You get what I'm saying? You walk up to her, regardless of where y'all live, you introduce yourself, tell her your name, bro. Don't be freaking weird. You interrupting her or you just abruptly approaching her, tell her your name, be a gentleman about it. You get what I'm saying? You don't have to be this savage, hard body doing the most. Tell her your name, tell her why you approached her. You could tell a woman, I approached you because I found you very attractive. Or I approached you because you seem, you seem like an interesting and cool person I want to get to know you better. You get what I'm saying? I, I find you very attractive, we should hang out sometime. You can do any of these little different type of things, or it can be predicated upon where y'all live. Let's go back to the gym example. How long you been coming here? How long have you been taking your physique serious? Do you do any type of different dieting? These are different questions that you can ask or different ways that you can start the conversation based upon where y'all are at. Because a lot of dudes overthink exactly what to say or they looking for this perfect thing to say when they approaching women. So if you build it off where y'all are at or you just build it off with something very simple, I approach you because I find you very attractive. That's why you approaching her, but it's just the way that you say it and how you come off when you are saying it. You get what I'm saying? Because like I tell y'all, when you approaching a woman, you do not have to validate her. You do not have to compliment her at all. But it's not nothing wrong with it if you're doing it in a masculine way. That's another aspect. Masculine frame, bro. Masculine frame. So that's the eye contact. That's the way that you're looking at her. That's your overall look when you're approaching a woman. You want to have all these things on point. So it's the mouthpiece and it's also the confidence. When you have those two things in order, it's the charisma. Now, like I said, I touched base on all this in my last video. So if y'all have not watched that on how to flirt with women, Make sure you go watch that last video, run it up to a thousand views. Let's get it. But all in all, bro, the best way to get good at approaching women is experience. I tell y'all this time and time and time and time again, experience is the best teacher. You get what I'm saying? Go back to my first videos on my channel. I was an inexperienced YouTuber and you can tell based on the quality, based on the audio, based on where I'm at when I'm recording, you can tell all these different things. I was inexperienced. Same thing with y'all with women. When you first approaching women, and things of that nature you're gonna be nervous you might be stuttering you might be looking down all these different type of things don't beat yourself up about it the more you do it the easier it's gonna be the more you build confidence the easier it's gonna be the more you build your mouthpiece the easier it's gonna be trial and error figuring out what works you cannot say the same thing every single time you can but that's gonna fall into the category of having that low success rate if you really want to just have that's where this is also where charisma come in at. Being able to switch things up on the fly. Being able to just know exactly what to say in any type of scenario. But that comes with the experience. So the more you shooting your shot at women, the easier it's gonna be, the more comfortable, the more comfortable you're gonna be doing so. You get what I'm saying? The more you work on your eye contact, the more you work on having casual conversations with women on a daily basis, and you checking out at the grocery store, boom, have a conversation with this woman. You get what I'm saying? If you if she's a cash, if it's a female cashier, have a conversation with this woman. If you walking by a woman, hey, how you doing? You get what I'm saying? How your day going? How you doing today? Casual things, quick things get about the way. It's just gonna help you. Have eye contact, hold masculine frame. You get what I'm saying? Also, be aware of the choosing signals. Pick up because you know if she looking at you, she double back, she look at you again. You know that she find you attractive. What's she looking at? Is she looking at me? Forget about all that. I'm not thinking about all that. I'm gonna go up and make the approach. Another thing, bro, y'all have to stop overthinking. Stop overthinking. It's stop overthinking and also stop thinking negative. Stop thinking, what if she say no? Because she's gonna say no. Stop thinking, what if I don't say the right thing? She's not looking for you to say the perfect thing. Are you confident enough to approach her? Can you have a regular casual conversation? Can you make her smile? Can you make her laugh? Can you make her comfortable? That's all she want, bro. That's all she want. If you can do those things, it's easy. Either she gonna give you the number or she ain't. But at the end of the day, she's not the only woman on the world. 
So if the if you don't get the result that you want, bro, it's billions of women on the planet, bro. So when you put all these things in motion on a consistent basis and you confident in yourself, you constantly working on yourself, keeping your grind and your priorities and your purpose and your discipline first, the women, they're going to come left and right, left and right, and it's going to be easy and it's going to be way more enjoyable. So at the end of the day, bro, this is the main difference between choosing signals and the code approach. You get what I'm saying? Experience is the best teacher. Get out in the field. Talk to as many women as possible. When you get comfortable talking to women on a casual level, work in shooting your shot and flirting with them. When you have all these different things, over time, you're going to become a beast. Over time, it's like, I'm not even thinking about what to say. I know exactly what to say. Over time, it's like, I love having eye contact. So it's like, if I'm talking to a woman, I can't look at the ground. I got to look at her. Why? Because I'm a full grown man. She looking good. I want to look at her. I want to, I want her to know that I'm, I'm really about that action when I look at her, when I talk to her. You get what I'm saying? I don't want to give off no type of nervous energy or none of that when I'm talking to a woman or when I'm approaching a woman. I want to always be on point, not just for the women, but for myself. So I always be presentable. You get what I'm saying? So I stay ready. So I ain't got to get ready. You get what I'm saying? So I hope y'all enjoyed this video, bro. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you subscribe to the Patreon. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and follow me on TikTok at Flex Loquate. Make sure you subscribe to my newsletter and make sure you cop my new ebook, Purpose Over Pleasure, Balancing Self Improvement and Dating. And if you would like to be an affiliate for this ebook to make you some money on the side, make sure you DM me or comment down below. I love y'all boys. I'm out.